Eddie, thanks for joining us. You've had a chance to reflect on Sunday's defeat against Man United. What do you make of it, having had a chance to review the videos? Yeah, tough, tough day. I think the my biggest memory of the game, I think, is the reaction of the supporters after after the game. So, long journey um, for them. A tough day, and they were absolutely brilliant with us after the match. And that was the uh, the real positive to come from the game. And I think looking into this game knowing how important the home crowd are going to be um, that support and love from our supporters hopefully will be the the positive thing that spurs the lads on in this match we're on the morning of the Watford game now and this is as you say a real opportunity to put that that game against Manchester United right isn't it yeah a chance to um, move forward really into a new year I think it's 2019 now 2018 for the club was a great year um, over the year as a whole I think the club's been and the team's been very successful, so we're, we're pleased with that. But going into a new year, it's almost a clean slate. And I think we're very positive going into the match and hopefully start the new year well. Just five home defeats in 2018 in all competitions shows just what an important place the Vitality Stadium is to this club. Yeah, it's been a good year at, um, at home. I think we've been uh, confident, um, solid in everything we've tried to do and been some memorable wins um, during that period. So we're certainly keen to keep our home form going as positively as we can. So the last couple of months have been tough on the pitch. How are the players responding to it? Uh, the players have been been OK. I think it's been a really tough, demanding period for us. I think over the Christmas period, we've had a lot of away games. We've had a cup game crammed in there as well. So I think it's a period where players have felt um, like they've been away, travelling, um, at a very difficult time of year when usually it's associated with family. So. Um, certainly with the games crammed in, a lot of recovery, a lot of um, analysis. So now it'd be good to get through this period and um, try and get to some back to some sort of normality. It's also been tough off the pitch for one particular player. Yeah, Charlie Daniels, is, um, his father's been very seriously ill. Um, and Charlie's been the brilliant professional that he is. Um, not let it have affected his day-to-day -day working, but behind the scenes been a really tough period for him and his family and um, what we do here historically is always support our players through any um, difficult period they're going through as a club I think we've done it with a number of players uh, throughout our recent history I think it's really important now that the squad the club the supporters really get behind Charlie during this time it's a real credit to him that he's he's pulling his boots on every day isn't it well yeah I mean uh, having been there myself knowing how difficult these periods can be you know life is full of um, ups and downs and difficult periods um, away from the sport uh, sometimes it can be a real um, a really difficult period where you're having to concentrate on your football where there's things going around in your personal life that are very difficult to deal with and that's where I think the love and support of everyone um, connected with the club can really help The club's motto is together anything is possible and that couldn't be truer than, than this situation Yeah, I think um, having that united front where we um, put our arms around people um, in difficult times I think is what the club is very special for um, it's what when I was playing for the football club I always felt that support and love of everybody through through good times and bad and um, I think it's very important now we let the, the Daniels family know that we're with them every step of the way